हे देव वेलकम टू दिस लेसन सो वी आर स्टडिंग इन्वायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री द न्यू टॉपिक नेम इज बायो जियो केमिकल साइकिल्स ऑफ सल्फर फॉस्फोरस ऑक्सीजन एंड द बायो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स द टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट फॉर दिस सीरीज आर द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट सल्फर साइकिल ऑक्सीजन साइकिल एंड द फॉस्फोरस साइकिल we will also study about the bio distribution of elements and lastly we will sum up this series with the summary now for this particular video the learning outcomes will be we will start with the introduction of sulfur cycle and we will study all the reaction that are involved in the sulfur cycle so let us start our topic so as you all know that a cycle is a series of various changes these changes keeps on going and then comes back to the starting point and after a time they are repeated again so that is called a cycle now here we are going to study about bio geo chemical cycles now you should know what is bio geo chemical it is a combination of biological geological and chemical and it is a part of larger cycle so this bio geo chemical cycle is very important in nature cycling of water carbon oxygen sulfur phosphorus nitrogen all these are cycled by the bio geo chemical cycle they are also known as nutrient cycle so this bio geo chemical cycle is very important for environment and it is very spontaneous chemical cycle okay it takes place very spontaneously in this cyclic process the chemical elements and the molecules they are moved through segments of environment okay now what is the segment of environment it contains the atmosphere as i have shown in the image you can see the atmosphere part that is air the hydrosphere part that is water the biosphere part which contains all the living organisms plants and the lithosphere part okay so all the segment makes environment and in the cyclic process the chemical elements and molecule are moved through segments of environment that means the chemical elements and molecules are moved from atmosphere to hydrosphere to biosphere to lithosphere okay now we all know that matter converts one form to other form by bio geo chemical cycle okay so there are some important bio geo chemical cycles they are nitrogen cycle phosphorus cycle carbon cycle oxygen cycle water cycle and sulfur cycle there are much more now we are going to study all this in this topic and let us study some of them so starting with sulfur cycle so sulfur cycle is a very important cycle for the geo chemical cycle and the life because many minerals are affected by the sulfur cycle it is a essential element you know that sulfur is a very essential element and it is an important nutrient for the organism now sulfur cycle takes place by oxidation reaction okay and there are many broad steps including in this oxidation reaction in this sulfur cycle so we are going to study all these reaction in detail now here in this slide i have shown you a image which is showing the whole sulfur cycle so in the atmosphere the sulfur is present in the form of sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide's chemical formula is so2 it is a gas okay now where does the plant takes their nutrient 
सो दे टेक देयर न्यूट्रियन फ्रॉम द मिनरल कंपाउंड ऑफ द इन्वायरमेंट सो इन इन्वायरमेंट द सल्फर इज प्रेजेंट इन द एटमोसफियर ओके सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट द मिनरल इज गोइंग फ्रॉम एटमोसफियर टू बायोस्फेयर ओके In this process, the sulphate of sulphur are taken by roots also. Okay, so plants gets their sulphur from the roots and from the environment. Animal gets the sulphur by eating the plants or by eating other animals. Sulphur is essential component of some of the amino acids also. and it is a huge component of living organism in this picture you can see that plants are taking sulfur in the form of so2 gas okay and then the root uh, root is also taking sulfur in the form of sulfate sulfate chemical formula is so4 2 minus now the animals manures and bio solids produces organic sulfur which can mineralize to sulfate and this mineralized sulfate is further reduced to h2s okay hydrogen sulfide this hydrogen sulfide is a mineral formation of sulfur and then it gets volatilized to the environment and again to the atmosphere so this is the whole cycle how the sulfur cycle works now let us study all the uh, all the steps in detail so first is the mineralization process so in mineralization process the organic sulfur okay the organic sulfur it gets converted into inorganic sulfur inorganic sulfur is h2s and this is done by the mineralization process now in the next step there is also a oxidation process in this cycle so in this process the hydrogen sulfide oxidizes into sulfate so what is hydrogen sulfide it is h2s so h2s gets oxidizes into the sulfate sulfate means so4 to minus further process is reduction process this process also takes place in the sulfur cycle so here in this process the sulfate which is so4 to minus it gets reduced into sulfide again and there is also the incorporation of halide in this sulfur cycle and the sulfide gets converted into organic sulfur so you can see that there is a cycle okay and this cycle keeps on repeating okay from organic sulfur to um inorganic sulfur then the inorganic sulfur to sulfate and then sulfate to sulfide and again to the organic sulfur now let us study some reactions involved in the sulfur cycle so in this sulfur cycle there is also a formation of sulfuric acid now let us see how it takes place so the hydrogen sulfide when gets reacted to o3 it makes h2o and so2 water and sulfur dioxide then this sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen atom and some oxygen molecule here m is equal to oxygen molecule and it gives so3 plus the oxygen molecule and again this SO3 reacts with the water vapor present and it makes the sulfuric acid and you have also learnt about the acid rain this is the sulfuric acid which falls down as rain in our next video we will study about acid rain in detail so this is some
acid which gets produced in the sulfur now let us discuss some objective questions related to this topic so here is the first question you can read this and then i will give you the explanation so h2s is the right answer in mineralization process the organic sulfur it converts into dh2s there are some broad steps or we can say the process involved in sulfur cycle the organic sulfur convert into inorganic sulfur that is h2s by the mineralization process now let's talk about the second question please read this and then i will give you the explanation so the right answer is so4 2 minus that is sulfate so in oxidation process the hydrogen sulfide it gets oxidized into the sulfate that is so4 2 minus this reaction is involved in the sulfur cycle